risen early this morning yes, to give you glory, honor, and praise. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh right now. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh right now. And have your way, Lord. We give glory, honor, and praise unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Our morning's hymn, hymn 118. He arose. And they were afraid. 
and bowed their faces to the earth. And they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he told you, how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we are truly grateful for the hour has come for you to be glorified. The hour has come for you to be magnified through your word. Come now, Lord, in your Holy Spirit, and speak to us that you might speak through us. God, use us for your glory today that your name might be exalted. We lift you up so that you might draw all unto you. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh right now. Speak to me, speak through me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh right now. Amen. Amen. From the sixth verse, the A part of the sixth verse, it says, He is not here, but is risen. What to use for a subject this morning on this sunrise of the resurrection in a raised position. In a raised position. On Friday, we learned that Jesus had been turned over to those who would have him killed. Pilate tried to give them Barabbas, but they had no part of that. They wanted Jesus crucified. So Pilate put the, the heading or the, 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 the accusation over the cross that said, the king of the Jews. He died, you all, on the cross. I tell y'all, he died. Because the, the soldiers even verified that he was dead. They would have broken his legs to help him die sooner. But because he was already dead, they still stuck the spear in his side. And it said that water and blood came out and the soldier declared he is dead. So I'm telling you, he died. Yes, he it said that he died for our sins. Mm -hmm. Okay, he died, but, but what does that do for us? Not so the fact that he died, but I come to tell you this morning that he didn't stay dead. Mm -hmm. He arose from the dead. Mm -hmm. He arose from the grave early when the women went to prepare his body to put spices on it because... You know, he did not, they weren't doing it bomb so his body was stink. But they went with the spices, and it says that the, the stone that had been put in front of the grave had been rolled away. Now, somebody said an earthquake happened, and the earthquake caused it to roll away. I tend to think that when the power of God came down, and it sounded like an earthquake and rolled the stone away. The stone was rolled away so that the women might go and look in to see that the body of Jesus was no longer there. Where is the body of Jesus? He died on Friday. He said on the third day he would rise again. Well, on Friday they crucified him, put him in the grave. He was there Friday, Saturday, but early on the third day, which was Sunday, the first day of the week, he got Amen. And he is in a raised position. He yeah. is no longer laying down, but he is in a raised yeah. position. Thank you. Thank you. Kept looking about this raised position. And I was led to Romans 8, 11. It says, but if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised Jesus from the dead will also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. 
Thank you. In other words, because Jesus was raised from the dead, when you and I die on this side, yeah. we're going to be raised from the dead. Yeah. The word backs it up. It says, if the same spirit dwells in you that was in Jesus that raised him from the dead, then you too will be raised from the dead. Amen. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, and he has raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places in Christ. Amen. Right now, Christ is sitting on the right hand side of God the Father Almighty because the same spirit raised Jesus dwells in the children of the Lord, then I, I believe that even now in our spirits, we are sitting in heavenly places. That's what the word said. I didn't make it up. So I'm grateful to God that John 14, 1 says, let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it wasn't so, I wouldn't have told you that. Because the word says that God cannot lie. And where he is, there we will be also. I come to tell somebody this morning that even though you might die, you have loved ones that have died. If they died in the Lord, they're going to be raised up.
in a raised position. Yeah. <laughs> when, so, when the Lord raises you up, you don't have to worry about the world putting you down. Because Jesus has elevated you. He has promoted you. He has raised you up. Thank you, Jesus. And because he got up, yeah. we don't have to wait till we die to get up, y'all. Right. <laughs> we can get up right now. Yes, yes. Get up out of sin right now. Because he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you, Lord. Somebody, somebody's feeling low right now. But I come to tell you that the that the love of Jesus Amen. rises you up. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Thank but you. then when you make the bread and then you put the yeast in it and you kind of let it stop, oh, Jesus. Kind of let it sit so it can rise up. Sometimes as we go through, Jesus needs to let us sit a while. Sit a while so that we might rise up. Sometimes I know you think God ain't coming fast enough. But I come to tell you, you're just sitting. But while you're sitting, he's steady rising you up. You don't see it rising, but until the end result. I mean, you look on and it's like, mm, looks a little bit bigger than it was before. And you walk on and you come back, mm, looks a little bit bigger than it did before. And then when it gets completely to where it should be, then you know it has risen. As we go through life, things might not look as good right now, but keep on looking. And you'll see stuff just keep on rising. Them folks that talked about you, they're going to rise. In a raised position. I thank God that Jesus is in a raised position because he rose. We too will rise. Amen. Amen. We too will rise. Thank you. But you got to have the right stuff in order to rise. You got to have the love of God in your heart. Hallelujah. And you have to ask him to come into your life, to be Lord of your life, mm -hmm. so that as you come up against all of these, all these trials and tribulations, you've got the blessed assurance Thank that you. I too will rise. Thank you. I'll rise in my everyday life. Because when this life is over, and when this life is over, I will have the ultimate, I'll be in the ultimate raised position. Because I'm going to rise up and be with the Lord. Amen. If you've not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is a good day. On this Resurrection Sunday, it's a good day to ask Jesus to come into your heart. On this Resurrection Sunday, it's a good day to give your life over to Christ. That you might rise up out of all of what's trying to hold you down. And I can't even begin to imagine all that's holding you down. But you know what it is. And so, give your heart to Christ. Ask Him to come in, to be Lord of your life. To lead, guide, and direct you. You don't have to fix yourself up. He'll do that. You just have to give yourself over to him. For those of you who strayed away, thought the grass was green on the other side, and when you got over there, you found that it was just somebody that spray painted it. The water came and washed it away. So it's not as green as you thought it was. Jesus says, I'm right where you left me. Come back to me. We ask you to accept Jesus Christ. We ask you to return unto him today. For there is life in the blood. The blood that washed all of our sins away. 
Let us pray. Gracious Father, we truly thank you. Thank you for being in a raised position that you might raise us in a raised position. Oh God, we're grateful for, for this sacrifice that you made on Calvary. We're grateful, God, that you you look beyond our faults and you saw what we needed. And we truly needed a Savior. Amen. We're grateful for your sacrifice. God, help us to live every day in a, in a behavior that would say, Lord, we appreciate what you've done. We give glory, honor, and praise unto you. We ask, oh God, that you remember those who are bereaved right now. Remember those who are traveling. Remember those, Father, who feel, who are feeling some kind of way right now, God. You said we would have trials and tribulations, but to be of good cheer, for you have overcome the world. So God, we're grateful that you've raised us up in you. When we accepted you as our Lord and Savior, you raised us up in you. We're in you right now. Yes, so that no weapon that's formed against us can prosper. We're grateful, God, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Grateful that because we are in a raised position in you, we are more than a conqueror. Because we are in a raised position in you, we can do all things through you because you strengthen us. Thank you, Father. Continue to bless this day as we go forward. As we reflect on the fact that you got up. Amen. Because you loved us so much so that we might have proof that you got up, you live in us every day. God, we're grateful for who you are and all that you are. We ask, oh God, that you continue to bless, bless all those who are under the sound of my voice. And then God, I ask that you even bless all those that are connected to every person that's under the sound of my voice. For we all need your blessings, God. We thank you. We thank you for this awesome opportunity to, pro to proclaim your word one more time. Father, we thank you for everything that you have done, for what you're doing, and for what you're going to do. We submit and surrender to your will today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Sing a little bit of that. Because he Let's sing. Oh. 